how much do you know about the instrument you love to play? In this mini ukulele trivia series, I will be sharing tips on what to look out for and what to consider when buying your new ukulele. When buying your new ukulele, there are two types of wood you can look for, laminates or solid woods. A laminate wood means each part of the ukulele is made up of thin layers of wood, a little bit like a plyboard. A solid wood does not mean the whole ukulele is one solid piece, but that each part of the ukulele is a solid piece of wood carefully constructed together. You can get a broad range of laminate ukuleles, and some do sound quite good, but a solid wood ukulele will typically give you a richer and fuller sound, and although a solid wood ukulele is not guaranteed to be a higher quality, solid wood ukuleles normally are the better instruments, although that does make them more expensive as well. For anyone looking for an affordable solid wood ukulele, I would recommend Noah Ukuleles, and I have put a link to their website in the description to this video. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. In this mini ukulele trivia series, I will be sharing tips on what to look out for and what to consider when buying your new ukulele. When you choose your ukulele, one thing you should consider is the wood that your ukulele is made from, as the different woods used for making the instruments have very different tonal qualities. It's a good idea to consider what sort of sound you would prefer and to listen carefully to the sound of the instrument before you buy it. Here are some of the different woods commonly used, although there are plenty of others as well. Mahogany is a light wood that has a warm and woody sound to it. It creates a clear ukulele sound, although not the brightest or loudest tone out there. Rosewood creates a very warm and rounded sound, however there have been trade restrictions on rosewood in the past and it is an expensive wood that is often used just for parts of a ukulele, but certainly good to look out for. Spruce provides a bright and well-rounded tone and carries the sound well making it clear to hear. Notably it is a wood that transforms its tonal quality over time, meaning the sound will keep improving the more you play it. Cedar ukuleles have a particularly warm and soft sound but are not as loud as some of the other types of wood. Monkey pod is a new type of wood used for ukuleles and creates a very mellow and balanced sound. It is not the loudest sounding wood but does have a very warm and beautiful tone. The koa is an exotic wood from Hawaii and is very popular amongst ukulele players. It has beautiful bright tonal qualities that sound warm and clear but it does not come cheap and the koa ukulele is a very special purchase indeed. And that's the end of this week's one minute ukulele trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. In this mini ukulele trivia series, I will be sharing tips on what to look out for and what to consider when buying your new ukulele. It is not something we all think about when we are shopping, but in an increasingly globalised world, it is always good to question where the products we buy are made. A lot of workers around the world still live and work in shocking conditions and we can only change that by asking about the products we buy. What a lot of people do not realise is that most cheap ukuleles under say £400 are mostly manufactured in the same areas of the world where these appalling conditions exist. What you should be aware of is that just because a company is perhaps Japanese or American or European owned does not mean that their ukuleles are all made in those countries. A lot of companies have two tiers of production, their own in-house manufacturing for their expensive brands and contracts with factories in other countries for their cheaper brands. It is always good to ask where your ukulele was made and maybe consider shopping around for one where you know that the workers making them are being treated well. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos, liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. In this mini ukulele trivia series I will be sharing tips on what to look out for and what to consider when buying your new ukulele. One thing to consider when you buy a new ukulele is whether you would like an electroacoustic or an acoustic ukulele. You can get fully electric ukuleles, which don't make much sound without an amp and are more of a specialist item, but for your average player, the choice is between electroacoustic or plain acoustic. An electroacoustic ukulele, of course, being one that can be played both plugged into the amp or just acoustically without the amp. Some people question whether the pure acoustic sound is affected when you add an electric pickup, but a lot of electroacoustics sound great both plugged in or as acoustic instruments. The main difference is the cost and you will naturally pay more for an electroacoustic ukulele. The question therefore is what are you buying the instrument for? And the electroacoustic obviously allows you more volume for performances as well as more advanced recording options, either through the amp or through an audio interface. However, you might simply be wanting to enjoy your ukulele playing quietly by yourself, in which case it might not be worth the extra cost, but it is certainly something to think about when buying your new instrument. And that's the end of this week's One Minute Ukulele Trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. In this mini ukulele trivia series, I will be sharing tips on what to look out for and what to consider when buying your new ukulele. 
There are four main types of ukulele straps, buttons, clips, hooks and leashes. There are lots of different versions of these that you can choose between. When buying a new ukulele you might want to consider whether you are going to buy a strap to go with it as this can have an impact on your choice. A lot of solid wood ukuleles in particular can be quite heavy and this can make changing chords harder if you are not using a strap as you are trying to support the weight of the instrument in your left hand. A strap is a great solution to this problem, straps can also help you hold the instrument when standing up. Now some ukuleles come prepared for straps with a strap button on the bottom of the body and a second one sometimes on the neck so you can just buy a simple button strap and attach it to both buttons. However a lot of ukuleles come only with one button on the body and quite a few come with no strap buttons at all. You can always add strap buttons to your ukulele by screwing them in but you can also buy other types of strap which don't require you to do this. A common type of strap is the single button strap which has a hole on one end for the button to go through and then a tie on the other to fasten around the neck. If you don't have any buttons on your ukulele you can get a leash strap which simply loops around both the body and the neck although some people don't consider these to be quite as neat as a button strap. Finally you can get either a clip on strap or a hook strap which both fasten onto either the sound hole or the neck in a similar way to a leash strap. They are generally a bit tidier than leash straps but not always as secure in their hold. So there are lots of different strap options available, button straps are a safe bet all round but there are alternatives out there if you prefer and it is definitely worth considering a strap when you are buying your new ukulele. And that's the end of this week's one minute ukulele trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care. In this mini ukulele trivia series I will be showing tips on what to look out for and what to consider when buying your new ukulele. If you're looking for a quality mid-range instrument, handmade, affordable and with a great sound, I would recommend Noah ukuleles. When I was looking for a new ukulele myself recently, I was looking for something under around four or five hundred pounds, and finding that everything in this price range was mass produced and in parts of the world that simply don't protect workers' rights. Then I found Noah ukuleles, which offered an affordable quality instrument and had some great reviews. They are a UK based company run by Matt Cohen, who founded the company in 2012. Matt had been living in Vietnam where he started working with a family run workshop in Ho Chi Minh City. So all his instruments are handcrafted by this family run business of luthiers in Vietnam. Now for me this sets no ukuleles apart from many of the other ukulele companies out there that have many of their lower to mid range instruments mass produced in factories often in parts of the world where working conditions are not what we would want them to be. I think it is great that Noah ukuleles have a much more human approach to their manufacturing and the owners have a personal connection with the workshop and the luthiers in Ho Chi Minh City. I think that says a lot about Noah ukuleles and is a very good reason to consider their ukulele range. I've recently done a full review of my brand new Monkey Pod concert ukulele from Noah ukuleles and I will leave a link to that review in the description to this video. And that's the end of this week's one minute ukulele trivia. Please help the channel to grow by exploring the other videos and liking and subscribing if you enjoy them. Do take care.